Okay, now we try to solve problem 1.1 question 5 from Krasik Vuk uh, Advanced Engineering Mathematics. So the question is find the solution, general solution of this differential equation. So y prime is equal to 4 e to the minus x cosine x. And let's start. So y prime, I can rewrite this as dy dx is equal to 4 e to the minus x cos x. Or we can rewrite this into this one dy dx and we can integrate both sides so we will have y is equal to integral 4 e to the minus x cos x dx so we just need to integrate the right hand side and to do that we need partial integral formula so to remind you that partial integral formula is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du okay so we need to carefully which one is u and which one is dv carefully choose it so here we will choose this 4 e to the minus x as our u and this cos x dx as our dv so here we will have u is equal to 4 e to the minus x and if we take derivatives of both sides we will have du is equal to minus 4 e to the minus x dx and for dv Okay, we have cos x dx if we take antiderivatives of both sides we will have v is equal to sin x because if we take the derivative of sin x it will become cos x and let's put this into this formula so here we will have y is equal to u u is this one for e to the minus x and v v is sine x and then minus integral v v is sine x and then du du is minus 4 e to the minus x dx and let's take this negative sign to the front so we will have y is equal to 4 e to the minus x sine x plus integral 4 e to the minus x and here we will have sine x dx so now we need to focus on this integration part and again we need to do partial integral so i will make this as our u and this is our dv so now u is for e to the minus x so du is minus 4 e to the minus x dx and dv is sine x dx so here we will have v is equal to minus cos x Okay, so far so good. And let's rewrite this equation here. Now we will have y is 4 e to the minus x sine x plus here u. u is 4 e to the minus x and v. v is minus cos x and then minus minus here 
then integral v v is minus cos x and du du is minus 4 e to the minus x dx and here we will have y is equal to 4 e to the minus x sine x plus 4 e to the minus x this is minus minus e to the x cosine x and here we will have minus this one becomes 4 e to the minus x cos x dx and now if we can take a look at this this is actually our y so this is the same as this one y and remember if we take the integration here we need to do plus constant so here we actually have plus constant here actually we have plus constant and here we actually have plus constant and here we actually have plus constant so let's rewrite this y is equal to 4 e to the minus x sine x minus 4 e to the minus x cos x and this one is will be minus y plus some constant so i can move this y to the left hand side so i will have 2y and i can take this 4e to the minus x outside the bracket so i will have sine x minus cos x and plus c okay our whiteboard is full let's clean this first and i will simplify this so far i have this one so i can divide both sides by 2 so y is equal to 2 e to the minus x sine x minus cos x plus c over 2 and remember that c over 2 is also a constant so let's rename this as c1 so we can rewrite this as y is equal to 2 e to the minus x sine x minus cos x plus c1 and this is the general solution of the question 5 and actually we finish this question thank you for watching my video bye